Let me show you some helpful tips for sight reading. Let's use this arrangement of Canon and D as an example. My first tip is recognizing the patterns. Look for steps or skips that happen in each line. In the right hand up here, we see that the notes are moving downwards by step. By recognizing the pattern and how far the pattern goes, you'll be able to play based on the section versus learning what each note is individually. Also look for repeated patterns. As we can see here in the second line, the notes are also descending in the same pattern, except there's two notes instead of one. Speaking of repeated patterns, take a look at this left-hand line. This line repeats itself four times. For parts like this, we see the pattern is stacked chords of equal distance. So the best way of learning what those notes are, instead of figuring out each note individually, aim with the bottom finger and then just know what those notes are and you'll just know that the spacing is going to continue the same. Before you start playing, you also want to pay attention to your key signatures. Go through the song to see if there's any dynamics or articulations that you have to keep an eye out for. In this arrangement, there doesn't seem to be any, so you don't have to worry about that. Take a look at the rhythms on the page and try and clap some of the harder ones out before you bring it to your instrument. This is just a general practicing tip. Try to work in small sections and do them repetitively. It's not very beneficial to try and play something from the very beginning all the way to the end. The moment a mistake happens, stop immediately and fix the mistake. If you just keep playing through in hopes that the next time you play it will be fixed, you're actually practicing that mistake. When you're sight reading, go slow. Sometimes our brains work faster than our fingers can go, so I just want to take your time so you're making sure you're playing all the right notes. I hope that helps. Have fun sight reading!